Here's a game in the re from the recent Tata Steel tournament between Magnus Carlsen and Andre Essipenko. And this guy's only a young guy playing against Magnus Carlsen. Now this is proof of the pudding that the end game opening is out there and people are doing it whether subconsciously or consciously and you don't have to have years of experience within chess to actually utilize this concept and as I've probably mentioned before in the how lower rated players beat higher rated players or newcomers to chess actually beat more experienced players is the aspect of the end game opening and I'm so impressed with this game that I thought I'm gonna have to wear and record it and get it put onto our site. So they opened e4, um, developed the knight. So looking at the concept of the end game opening, okay? So it's developed the knight, so it's further advanced up the board, develops his other knight defending the pawn, pretty simple, straightforward. Develops the bishop, potential castling, also the angle of the bishop, looking to maybe swap off the bishop, white square bishops. Carlson blocks down, so it's like slow development of his pieces at the minute so it's almost like attempting to do rope a and as we've mentioned before um, developing your pieces does help you to control key squares key pieces but you can also do the end game opening from the from the back but at this moment in time Chuck Carlson's pieces do look a little bit jammed in so develops the bishop and a magical pawn push up which is threatening to put pressure onto his knight. But Carlsen seems to ignore this and then kind of pays the price because the knight then is going back, blocking its own bishop, and his white square bishop's a bit inactive. A nice gentle pawn push here, preventing the pawn pushing onto the knight. Well, it's not preventing, but it'll capture it if it does. Bishop captures and queen supports. We've done a similar type movement in one of our particular games. Queen captures, and for the life of me, I, I still don't understand why this queen move was pushed down. It looked very strange and peculiar. Castled, so then the queen went back. So the queen's been moved twice, and it's not really gone to any beneficial squares. Now there's space and air around uh, Black's king. Mobilizes his king off of any diagonals from the bishop and now starts making inroads in towards the king area. Some may say it's a kind of sacrifice, but absolutely fantastic move because now the knight comes in, demolishes the area around the king, basically on both sides of the board. The queen is also on his rook, so he castles king side to prevent that, so gets a pawn taken in the process a smaller piece attacking a higher piece absolutely condensing down Carlson's pieces and the squares that he's looking to own capturing pieces left right and center developing the rook and I'm just feeling for the actual position of Black's King look at the development and at that point there was a resignation absolutely awesome display um, against a much higher rated player world champion and a young boy just comes in and does this to a world champion it is possible it is doable end game opening if you keep a focal point and you're not scared or you're not worm what's the word now um, not too lovey-dovey of the, the rating of the person in front of you um, it is achievable because everybody they've got the same pieces that you've got on the ball but if you've got the psychology of I want to end the game rather than play around baking the game then you stand more of a chance of getting better advantages on the board